All right, so we'll go over the settings. So you have your homepage style, um, and this you can change it to the classic style and the modern style. So I just switched it uh, and switched back, but we're not gonna cover the classic style. I think everybody knows uh, that one pretty much, and most people use the modern. Um, so uh, just so you know, if you click classic style, um, you will lose all your widgets. So we have it on modern. I switched it and I lost, and it went straight back to um, the default. So just know that you'll lose all your widgets if you do set something up. Uh, day and night mode, you have auto, which will change with your headlights, I'll show you. Um, and then you have day, which will just keep it white all the time. Night, which will keep it black all the time. And then according to time, so it can change um, based on a preset time, which I think is like seven, not sure. But um, we can try click. Um, so dimmer. Uh, so it's according to time so obviously it thinks it's nighttime but antenna power oh dimmer we'll go over to dimmer so this is the night dimming uh versus the day dimming so at night if you want six or you want it brighter you can do i, I like to do about seven so okay now it'll be a little bit brighter at night so anyway so you can change the different dimming it gets pretty dim uh, more so than the, the previous model. Um, antenna power, this will turn on your remote wire out if you have an amp. So I like I need to leave mine on, I run two amps. Uh, language, multiple languages you can choose from. Uh, units, of course I do US. Region, um, different regions you can do. Uh, RDS is for the radio to pick up the stations, the labels for the stations. So. We'll leave that on and sleep switch i'm not exactly sure what sleep switch does audio equalizer will take you straight to equalizer which we went over um, so we can go back uh, mic gain assuming this is for the internal mic uh, which is down here um, it also comes with an external mic if you want to run a wire i find the internal one works just fine um, so i guess you can pick the gain so the volume of it um, and then sound gain this is for your different so if you find that your radio is lower than your bluetooth music you can you can adjust to make them all the same as you're switching through the modes so um, that's video oh. um, so video video emotion this is pretty much the only setting in video uh, i just like to leave it on this is so you can watch a video when you're driving which is not recommended but um, if you want to, you can. Uh, user, so these are the default apps. So default navigation apps, you only have one option, which is maps. Um, if you have Waze and all those others, I think once you load them up, you can um, select those. Uh, boot logo, so I had problems. I couldn't get this to work. Um, I would pick an image from my last one and it wouldn't, it wouldn't load the, the boot logo uh, if you have it on a drive. So not exactly sure if there's something I'm doing wrong Maybe the file name's wrong or image size or um, type is wrong. But boot animation does work. Um, so to do this, you just need to put your boot animation file on a USB drive. Uh, name it bootanimation.zip. It needs to be in the uh, main directory. Um, so no folders. And put USB in, press load, and it will load it up. So I'll show you um, the Toyota one that I have on. Uh, in a little bit so um, app customize these are your online apps uh, so you can pick so there's multiple references to um, uh, online music online video uh, with a widget or in the classic style where you have an app that'll say online music and you can just set that to whatever app you want um, and then online video so I actually erased all the apps that I showed you guys earlier so um, if I did have them, you could, you could pick one of those, uh, Netflix or something. So app one through five is just a custom app. Um, so you can label any, uh, you can make any app as a custom app and then you can have a widget showing that app. So, uh, yeah, they'll have widgets that say app one, app two, and you can do that. Or in the classic style, you have custom apps on the top. Uh, which is one, two, five, and you can set those apps to whatever you want. 
So the modern style is much better. You can move the apps around. You don't you don't even need uh, these custom apps for anything. So. All right. So that was the boot logo custom app. Uh, start application normally or automatically. You can have it start something up if you want. Uh, and then voice is uh, right now. All I've seen is Google Voice. I'm not sure if there's other apps that'll work with this, but. And then the big one system. Okay, sorry, it's raining, but um, I want to go over the setting guide. So this is one of the most important ones, um, which is just the car model AC. Um, the password here is 88, <coughs> sorry, 8861. Oh, 8861. Okay, so um, you don't really want to change anything. I think if you have, um, if you have heated seats, uh, you could go too high, oh, no, um, because the low, we are on the low, doesn't have the dual or heated seats. So if you have heated seats and dual AC, um, you would change that to high. But if not, you'll just leave it on low. Um, anything else, I wouldn't change it to anything else. But that's the only two that I know of. So if you have heated seats and dual AC, then you want to go high. If not, we'll go low. I'm not sure how many have, how many Tacomas have um, Tacoma High, but it's mainly the AC settings. So going back, um, oh, we did that. All of these temperature display. If you have temperature, I know some come with the temperature. This may work. I can't test it. Uh, factory amp. I'm assuming this is for a JBL. Uh, again, I can't test it. I don't have. Uh, reverse mute um, if you just want it off to review uh, to not mute uh, you'll leave that off or you can have it attenuate and you can do a, a certain volume but we just I just like to leave it off dynamic guidelines this if you leave this on uh, your reverse your reverse lines will move so I can show you that real quick um, let me turn the key So you can see the lines move when you reverse. Um, and you can also set these lines. Um, so you can adjust the lines, the angle. So if you wanted to match your, I'm not sure what that one does. Anyway, you can adjust these if you wanted to. They don't look very centered to me, but I like to leave them off. Um, so anyway, if you want dynamic guidelines, you can leave that on. Uh, radar sound, if you have backup sensors, this may work. Again, I can't test them. Uh, this is right-hand drive. Uh, door, the door tip, this is to show your if your door is open or not, but um, it doesn't work with our trucks. Uh, which is the show door state. So um, my previous and next buttons are backwards. So this is where you switch them. Switch them. Um, uh, these are the ones on your steering wheel control. Um, and then volume up and down. So you have, if your volume is switched, you'll switch this here too. So that's pretty much all of the settings and setting guide. We'll go over the rest. Network, it'll just take you to your Wi-Fi where you can turn it on. Um, GPS, this will test your GPS signal. So I am using the GPS antenna they have. I just have it right under my dash. It's like stuck to the bar that's in there and it works great. I have no issues with it. Uh, wheel settings, this is all preset. So you don't have to adjust any of these and they just work um, based on the Toyota high or low uh, that I showed you in the other one. So. And then um, software version, if you guys are interested in. Uh... All right. And then upgrade. If we do get upgrades in the future, this is how you'd upgrade the plug box to the MCU plug box or the air pane. So 
and then of course you have android settings and this takes you to android which i really won't go over this this is pretty much um the stock android so what we can do is go about um no, not this one system So this is Android 13 and we can about device oh right there. Oh Android 13. So it is Android 13. Let's see if we can get back. Alright, so um but if uh those Android settings are just the normal um Android stuff, so and then factory settings is 7890. And I really didn't, haven't touched anything in here. Um, everything pretty much works. I'm not exactly sure what everything does. So I wouldn't mess with it unless you need to. Um, but if you do not have a reverse wire, um, or if you're using your OBD2, so I know some of the automatics, they don't have a reverse. It doesn't know when the it's in reverse. So if you put it in reverse and it doesn't change to your camera, you may want to um, change this reverse with protocol to on. So that it that will trigger the camera ver based on your OBD settings with the OBD plug that they give you. So um, I have a, I have a standard. So and I already had a backup camera, so mine just worked. But if you do have problems, uh, you can play with this one. But I'll let you guys take a look at this. Uh, and then if you have 360 camera, I know this switches the 360 camera on. When you switch this on, it will um, put another app on your da uh, in your apps drawer too. So, and then back if your camera is some for some reason reversed, this will switch it. So, okay. So we're gonna go over the AC controls. Um, you can do everything, uh, not everything, almost everything from just these control panels. The main features, um, you can, this one changes it to temperature, so we can go up and down. And then this one is the fan control. So, two, sorry, loading some apps. Um, and as you can see, four now has a relay. Uh, you can hear it clicking on. Um, replaces the MOSFET, the high-speed MOSFET. So um, you turn the AC on or off, the compressor on or off, and then the recirculating on or off too. Um, what you can't do is change the mode, but you can change the mode from this panel. So you have face, face and feet, uh, feet only, and then defroster. I know it shows face, but that's the defroster and the feet. So. And then that's the same, the pressing this button is almost, is the same as pressing this. It cycles through the different modes. You have mode plus and mode minus. So, um, this AC, you can turn it on and off from here. Um, this is a rear defroster, but we don't have one on a truck. Um, and then the defroster. So if you turn it on, you'll see it turn on down here and then it'll go here too. So. Uh, recirculating it doesn't light up but it does change down here oh well, we can't do defroster and recirc so there you go all right and then fan speed and temperature so that's pretty much for the ac controls i don't have any issues with them they all work uh flawless so if you have any questions just let me know um, i run this radio every day in the truck and I never have a problem with the AC. So, go back home. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.